Now in this last part, we've got to find the tension in the tow bar, T newtons, in other words. And I've updated the diagram from the first part. We found out in the first part that the resistance on the caravan was 860 newtons. So how are we going to find out what this tension in the tow bar is? Well, what we have to do is separate this. We have to look at either the caravan or the car. It's as if we just cut this down through the middle here, okay? Let's just put a kind of serration down there. We either look at the caravan, these forces acting on the caravan, or these forces acting on the car. I'll do both ways for you and show you how it's done. So if we look at the caravan, let's just put a, um, an intro up here. Let's just say, consider the caravan. What we're going to do is resolve to the right in the direction of motion. So if we resolve to the right, we're looking at that resultant force to the right that acts on the caravan and that equals the mass times the acceleration. You might even like to try this, pause the video, have a go and come back in a moment and just see your work solution, see how it compares to mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's have a look, see how you got on. Well, if we resolve to the right, then it's going to be T newtons acts to the right. So we're going to have T, let's just put it there, T. And what else we got? We've got the 860 newtons. That acts in the opposite direction to what we've got here. So that's going to be minus 860. As for RC and the weight, 750 G newtons, they're perpendicular to the direction that we're resolving, so they won't enter the equation. So this is the resultant force, and that resultant force equals the mass times the acceleration. The mass is 750, and the acceleration is in the positive sense to what we've got here, so it'll be multiplied by 0.88. So if we work this out just by adding 860 to both sides, we'd end up with T equals, well if you do 750 times 0.88, you end up with 660. And then we add the 860 here. And so that gives us that that tension T comes out to 1520 newtons. Okay, well that's one way that you could come up with the answer for that tension. The other way is to consider the car. So we'll just do that one for you. So if we consider the car, again you might like to pause the video and have a go. What we're going to do is resolve to the right. So I'll just give you a few moments to pause the video and have a go. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you got on if you did have a go. So resolving to the right, we've got the 3200, okay, 3200, minus the resistance on the car, which is 800 newtons. It's minus because it's acting in the opposite direction to what we're resolving in. We've also got minus T, these two forces are perpendicular to the direction of motion, well, the direction we're resolving in, so they're perpendicular, no effect then. So that's our resultant force. And that is equal to the mass, which is 1,000, times the acceleration, which is positive 0.88. And again, if you just rearrange this, make T the subject, you should find you get this result here. We'll just run through it though. 3,200 minus the 800 is 2,400 minus T equals, and if you do 1,000 times 0.88, you get 880. Add T to both sides, take 880 away from 2,400, and you end up then with T equaling 1,520 Newtons. So, just shows you either way, it makes no difference. You just choose which object 
you want to work with. I'd go for the caravan though in this question as my first choice because it involves less forces. Alright, so there you go. That's how I would go about that question then.